Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject, computer graphics is the digital differential analyzer. That simply you call it as a DDA algorithm. Digital differential analyzer. So what is this digital differential analyzer? So in the previous video, I explained what exactly the digital differential analyzer. So in this video, I'm going to explain with an example. So before going to the example, just recall the topic, whatever we discussed in the previous video. The digital differential analyzer, which is an incremental, let me write this. Okay, the digital differential analyzer is an, is an, incremental scan conversion method of line drawing so for drawing the lines we will use this digital differential analyzer where you are going to draw the lines on the screen so this is one of the method which is used for line drawing Okay, so it is used for rasterization of lines, triangles as well as the polygons also. Actually, the main concept of working on this digital differential analyzer is it is going to attempts, DDA attempts to generate, it attempts to generate the points between, points between starting and ending coordinates. That is the main use of using this the DDA analyzer. The main concept here is suppose if you are having the uh, sorry coordinates. Suppose if you are having the starting and ending coordinates. Starting coordinates are there. Ending coordinates are there. I don't know how to draw the line. So the line may be the straight line or some curve line or something like that. So to find the points between these uh, starting and ending starting and ending points we are using this dda algorithm so what is the use of this dda algorithm so it is going to attempt to generate the points between the starting and ending coordinates means finding the points between start and end okay so how you are going to find out just recall the algorithm whatever i discussed in the previous video Suppose if you didn't understand what I explained in the previous video, you can your doubt is going to be clarified here. Okay, so first I am just giving your algorithm in a simple steps, then I will work out with the example. So first what you have to do, you have to read the start and end coordinates. So you have to read start, start and end coordinates. So let's take the start and end co start coordinates or x0 and y0. And let me take the end coordinates or x and y and because I don't know. Uh, so I'm just taking it as an x and, and y. In between x0 and uh, x and there is a, some coordinates will be there. So this is what start coordinates are there and coordinates are there. So first step, how you are going to draw the line from starting to the ending points. First step is calculate. What you need to be calculate? Calculate delta x and delta y and m also. It's a slope. Delta x and delta y from the given inputs. Based on the given inputs, you need to calculate delta x, delta y and m. How you are going to calculate? Delta x is nothing but x n minus x naught. End coordinates minus start coordinates. Delta y is equal to y n minus y naught. And what about the M? Slope is nothing but delta Y by delta X. So you are going to calculate the delta X, delta Y and the M. Okay, you are calculated. So what is the next step? The next step is find the number of points in between the start and end coordinates. So now you, are, you know how to calculate delta X, delta Y and M. But with the help of this, we are going to find number of points, number of points in between start and end coordinates so how many points i need to be placed to make it as a line by connecting start and end coordinates so for that you need to find out if absolute of delta x so whatever the delta x you have find here you have to take the absolute value the absolute value of delta x is greater than the absolute value of delta y then what do you need to do? Then the length, let's take the length is k is equal to absolute of delta x. So consider the length is delta x only. 
or else or else k is equal to absolute of delta y suppose the uh, delta x is less than delta y then you have to consider delta y only what what do you understand from this so whatever the value that it is greater you can just consider that it has a length okay the step 2 is over so next what you are going to do to find the points between the start and end step 3 the step 3 is suppose the current point is let's take your at current position the current point is xp or yp and the next point let's take the next point in between the start and end the next point is xp plus 1 comma y p plus 1 what i done is x not y not is there and you hear somewhere xn yn is there i'm just finding the current point suppose the current point is xp yp okay the next point is xp plus 1 yp plus 1 that's it i'm just finding the points in between these two so the current point let's take xp yp and the next point is xp plus 1 yp plus 1 then then find the next point by following two cases sorry by following three cases not two cases so in the uh, dd algorithm you are going to use the three cases the three cases is case 1 let's take the case 1 what is case 1 suppose if whatever the slope you have found delta y by delta x if this m value is less than 1 if this value is less than 1 the next point xp plus 1 is equal to 1 plus xp and yp plus 1 is equal to m plus yp so remember this point student if less than 1 means 1 plus xp yp plus 1 means m plus yp okay The next is case two. So what is the case two? The case two means okay. So in the case two, uh, you are going to that x p plus one is equal to one plus x p. Y p plus one is equal to one plus y p. Okay, and the next one, case three. So case three is x p plus one is equal to one by m x p. Y p plus one is equal to one plus y p. Okay, so that means here if m is greater than one and if m is equal to zero, if m is less than one, you have to uh, find the next coordinate like this by applying this formula. Suppose if the m value, whatever you find, delta y by delta x is is equal to zero, then you have to take x p finding the next coordinate by using this formula. Suppose if the m value is greater than one, then you have to use this formula. Okay, so this is what the algorithm is. Now let's take an example and try to apply this algorithm. Okay, I'm just keeping this aside, and I'll take it as a reference. Let's take an example. And coming to the fourth step, sorry, the fourth step is nothing but what you have to do. You have to repeat this step, repeat the step three until end point is reached. So whatever the end point is there, until the end point is reached, you have to repeat these steps. Now apply this pro. algorithm let's take an example student example uh let's take the starting point so they are giving the starting point and ending points the starting points are 5 comma 6 and what are the ending points let's take the ending points are 8 comma 12 so let's take this is x not y not xn yn according to our algorithm so first step first step what i had done i am going to calculate the delta x delta y and m simply i am first calculating the delta x delta x is nothing but xn minus x not delta y is nothing but yn minus y not and m is equal to delta y by delta x so so xn means 
एट माइनस फाइव थ्री ट्वेल्व माइनस सिक्स यू आर गेटिंग सिक्स एंड डेल्टा वाई इज अ सिक्स एंड डेल्टा एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू दैट मीन्स यू गेट एम एज ए टू सो एम एज टू मीन्स ओके यू जस्ट फाइंड आउट द एम नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू द सेकेंड स्टेप सो वट इज द सेकेंड स्टेप द सेकेंड स्टेप इज यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स हाउ आई एम गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स सपोज एज एज एप्सल्यूट ऑफ डेल्टा एक्स इज लेस दैन एप्सल्यूट ऑफ डेल्टा वाई सो हियर द थ्री इज लेस दैन सिक्स वेन एवर थ्री इज लेस दैन सिक्स द लेंथ शुड बी दैट इज अ के वैल्यू Length k is equal to delta y only six. I already said whenever whatever the value that it is greater, you have to take that number. That is six. Okay, you find it. Next, coming to the third step, we know that the third step is m is greater than one here. So as m is greater than one because we got the two, so m is greater than one, then we have to the case three is satisfied. Right or wrong? The case three is satisfied or wrong? Let's have a look here. So here, m is greater than one. Whenever the m is greater than one, the case three is satisfied means to find the next coordinates, you have to use this formula: x p one, y p one, one by m plus x p one plus y p. So let's write that point here. X p one is equal to one by m plus x p. And y p one is equal to the next coordinate one plus y p. So you have to apply this formula to find the next coordinates. So this is what. Now let's take a chart to find out these value. To find out the number of points in between the start and end. It's simply thing. X not, y not. What is x not and y not? According to the question, the x not is five and y not is six. And x p one, x p plus one, and the y p plus one. And let's take the round off value because we have to take only the integers, not the floating points. So just round off the x p plus one comma y p plus one. You need to be round off. Okay. So now let let's start. So we know that so m greater than m uh, m greater than one means x p plus one is equal to one by m plus x p. And y p plus one is equal to one plus y p. So substitute the values here. So m is what? So uh, m is nothing but we got m is equal to two. Okay, which is a greater than one. We already calculated. Substitute the values here. One by two plus x p. That is x not five. One by two plus five. That is five point five. Next one plus y p. Y p, y p means here y not one plus six seven. So just round off this value. So five point five you can write it as a six and seven is as it is. But here next calculate the next value. Again substitute one by m means nothing but point five. X p is the previous value. The previous value. X p plus one is the next value and x p is the previous value. Y plus one is the next. Uh, sorry, uh, x. Uh, x p plus one, y p plus one is the next value, and y p is the current value. So what is the current value here? Five point five. So you are getting it as a six. You are getting it as six, and here one plus y p that is eight. So this is six comma eight. Now, so again substitute the values. One by m means point five. That is one by two means point five. Point five plus What is the current value? Six. That means you are getting six point five, and eight. Substitute eight here. You are getting nine. So round off this seven comma nine. Now, so you don't take the round off value. Just take the present value. So the present value here again m is point one by m is point five plus. Here you need to take six point five. So that means you are getting seven. And nine substitute nine here, and you'll get ten. So seven comma ten. Again, so point five is one by m, and the current value is a seven. 
okay then you will get the next value as 7.5 and here 10 plus 1 11 so round off this 8 comma 11 next 0.5 plus the current value is a 7.5 so then you are getting it as 8 and 11 plus 1 12 so 8 comma 12 stop here why I am stopping here because this is my end point this is my start point so whenever I reach the end point stop doing okay uh, and this is start point and so I found the values between the start point and the end point now let's draw the diagram okay so this is 0 x coordinate and y coordinate okay so let me take the points as 2 4 6 8 10 12 and 2 4 6 8 10 12 so first point is 5 comma x coordinate is 5 and this is 6 here somewhere and the next coordinate is 6 comma 7 6 and 7 is somewhere here and 6 comma 8 7 comma 9 7 comma 10 8 comma 11 and 8 comma 12 so this is what you are getting the line so by using this dda the digital differential analyzer you are going to draw a line on the screen okay thank you